Mm -hmm. Welcome, everyone. This it's the is being recorded. It's the twenty fourth of June. This is documentation office hours. Uh, items I've got on the agenda: action items, Google Summer of Code, Pipeline Steps Doc Generator, longstanding pull requests. Uh, we don't need to talk about change log and upgrade guide because that's been delivered. I guess maybe we should put in a news item here, which is Jenkins 2.346.1 release, uh, then require Java 11 that's coming and support Java 17, migration of user stories, nothing to talk about there, and then open action items for me on upcoming blog posts. What other topics need to be on the agenda? Looks, looks from my side. Yes, so from my side, uh, there's one ticket which is open for a UI improvement. So I wanted to discuss more on that. I'll, uh, I'm searching for it. I'll provide the link as well in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, is this is a this is a documentation UI or a Jenkins UI? Um, Jenkins UI. Okay. All right. Well, good. So, Dirash, let's let's have you. We'll put that right at the top of the list. Make sure that we get that topic covered. Good. Anything, Meg, from you? Nope. All right. So, how about let's start on the action items for now while Dirash is is checking on the other topic. I've still got the action item to archive the documentation mailing list and use community.jenkins.io, and I've got an action item to create three blog posts. Uh, CDCon award winners, Jenkins Contributor Summit Summary from CDCon, and She Code Africa Contribute on results. Uh, by way of news, Jenkins 2.346.1 has released. Uh, it is a security release. Uh, it include it also had a matching Jenkins 2.332.4 and Jenkins. 2.356. So, Diraj, had you found that UI improvement ticket? Yes. Okay, and I what is it? Oh, oh, good. Mm. Yes, this one. I shared it in the chat. Got it. Okay. So, in this one, there's a rendering problem, and uh, I reported it. Then I tried to look for a solution long time back when I reported, uh, then I could not find it. Then I forgot about this. Then someone, a uh, very kind enough uh, person, posted a comment, queued, I think last week, that, hey, this is what you should be doing, something like that. And I think that would work. But then, then I try to think about like, how would I do it? Because this shows up on a particular Jenkins version. And uh, in my local installation of Jenkins, it shows up the latest one. So, um, so what would be the action items from now on? Should it be like, uh, I should use a particular version of Jenkins as I have noted down in this ticket? Yes. So, so usually the way you did it here is, is a good, a good point. And you noted, Hey, it's version job filters. So, so your concern is, is that the right way to log the bug? Yes. And also how would I use a particular version of Jenkins? Because mine is latest by default. Ah, well, so all you have to do is report which version you were using. So by your saying, hey, I was using Jenkins 2.277.3. Now, mm -hmm. if you want to use an arbitrary Jenkins version, the easiest way to do that is like this. You say Docker run. Uh, and then Jenkins slash Jenkins colon. And let's say you want to use 2.346.1. That's how you do it. Now, this particular computer's already got a Docker image running at that location. So let me switch to another computer. We'll do it here. So when I do that, 
it's going to open up port 8080 on this computer running Jenkins 2.346.1. So I remember that password and I go to that Jenkins controller. Here I have one here that's convenient and it will, it's starting Jenkins and it'll ask me soon to insert that password. So did that answer your question on how to run a specific Jenkins version? Yes, it did. So the magic for me is this Docker run command that lets me choose arbitrary Jenkins versions pretty easily. Mm, okay. Now, if you, if there's something that, that that doesn't make sense to you where you say, oh, hey, that's not the, oops, no, apparently I entered the wrong password. Let's get the correct yeah. password. Much better. Okay, and I'm gonna select no plugins to install. And there we are. Mm, okay. And when I click save and continue, it's ready to go. And now I have a Jenkins running with exactly that version and usually it would have no plugins installed. Good, yes, and it shows the correct warning. So did now in terms of this specific bug report, um, if you'd like, we could do a quick check right now. I think I use exactly this configuration myself with the current version of Jenkins. Do you want me to check? Do you want to, shall we do a look to see if the current version looks the same? Yes, please. That would be helpful. Okay, so. All right, so let's look here at Jenkins home and we're going to use this one. So the plugin that's being used is view job filter and I actually have views already defined. Let's borrow this one. I've got a view defined named failed. And this failed view says here, let's go with unstable, it's easier. There we go. So this one, now if I edit the view, it should show me here is the job statuses filter. Is And is was that the thing you were using? No, you were using build statuses filter. So maybe I do need to go back to failed because that's build statuses filter, isn't it? No, that's still job status, whoops. I think you can click on add job filter below it, the drop down and okay. add it manually. Okay, so add, add job, job filter, filter. Yes. build statuses. Hmm. Uh, yes, so one, two, three. Huh. So there the checkbox you can see it is before the build statuses. Uh, yes, right. So currently building and the same thing here, right? Current, here's, here's the checkbox that's probably associated with currently building, right? And this one is associated with never built. And this one is associated with in build queue. So yeah, so the problem is still very much there as far as I can tell. So you don't see it in 2.277.1. But yes. this shows it in 319.1 and in, yeah, so, so it, it definitely, as far as I can tell, it is still a problem. Oh, okay. So I can, so you're saying I can um, work on it on the lo latest Jenkins version as well. In, yes. The, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. So as far as I can tell. I could, I could check on a weekly version that's absolutely the latest. This is latest Jenkins LTS, but I have no reason to think that it's not a problem there as well. So let me capture a screenshot just to say that we've, oops, well, that will be fine. Here, we've got a screenshot captured. We'll edit it and crop it. Okay, so the thing we need to do is 
job statuses filter, build statuses filter. Right, and then now what we need is we need an arrow that points to, whoops, this. Sorry, my editing capabilities are a, a little bit imperfect right now. Okay, so and then we like a very useful tool. Oh, I love this particular tool. It is absolutely a wonderful way to do uh, image editing. Mm. And then text. Okay, so, and what would we say here? Something like checkbox is left of job statuses, but should be left of stable. Yes. Like that. There we go. And I'll update that. Confirmed still an issue with latest release of view filter plugin and Jenkins 2.346.1. And we drag this here, put it there. And if I got it right, when we do the visual, we'll see it. There it is. So it's a little bit big as an image goes, but I, I assume that's workable. You okay if I add that comment, Yurash? Yes, it's helpful. Okay, great. So that was this ticket. Let's put it there. A checkbox alignment, misalign, misalignment in a filter plugin. All right. Anything else on that topic? Um, not really, because uh, the person pointed out the kind of edits that I need to do. So I'll try to find the file where that is supposed to go and propose the changes. Great. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much. So, thanks a lot for your help. So a question on that, um, and, and I'm, I don't expect the exact answer, but um, what's the best way to find the file where I need to do the change? Should I search for the text job statuses uh, on the whole code base or how do you go about this? Yeah, so that's, so I would, I think since this has been reported against the view job filters plugin, I would open the view job filters plugin. So view job, view job, whoops, view job filters. And on GitHub, search for slash, and what was it? It was you no, know, it was build statuses filter. Hmm. So again, slash build statuses filter. Let's see if we can find it this way. So it looks promising. Here's a jelly file. Build statuses. Hmm. But there's not, there's no exact match, right? I I don't see one. Yeah. So let's let's do some more looking. So if I back to the picture we took, currently building. Oops. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, so this, I'm reasonably sure this is the place you want to be. So here's build statuses, currently building, never built, in build queue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Build status. Okay. That makes sense. So now your initial report, hey, the, they are correct in 2.277.4.1, or is that, that's where, no, that's, ah, I get it. Okay. So Diraj, maybe, maybe what, what you need to know is the secret command line option that will let you see the problem with the exact sequence you were trying to run. So you did a Maven HPI colon run, right? Mm, yes. So if you do something very similar, and I'll just put it right in this comment. Okay. Should be able to see that from a debugger or a development environment with Maven clean Jenkins dot version equals two dot three four six dot one <clears throat> HBI colon run. And what that will do is <clears throat> run the run run Maven and use Jenkins current version rather than the version that the plugin declares as its minimum version. Wow. Maven is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's it's a lot of people use it to do a lot of interesting things. Mm -hmm. Did that did that help? Yes, it definitely did. So I know how to in, install that particular Jenkins, and I know where to look, and I know the changes that I need to do. Thanks to the person who posted the screenshot, so I think I'll be able to move forward with this. Great, excellent. Thank you. Thanks for being willing to work on that. Thank you. All right, next topic then was Google Summer of Code and the Pipeline Steps doc generator. The, the Here we had a pull request submitted to Jenkins.io from Vihan and that pull request, what did, why did that not, tell? well, Vihan's pull request was submitted and it's been merged. So if we look here at the wow. post pull request, you'll see this independent scrolling in the documentation sidebar. Step one. Then there are two pull requests to the pipeline steps doc generator. And these need review. They were submitted within the last day or so. I reviewed one of them just briefly and had a surprise and I've given a comment. I assume none of you have questions on this one. Any any concerns or topics? Nothing really, but I saw the preview mode of this PR and it was very neat. Like on the left side, nothing is getting scrolled and on the right side, you're able to scroll it. That was very neat. Right. Well, and, and the dismaying part for me there is I'm, I know it's been merged. It was merged eight hours ago. And yet when I look at it now on Jenkins.io, it still has the old scrolling behavior. And with the old oh. scrolling behavior, it's, it's, I'm not sure if it's a caching problem, what's going on. But if we look here, the one that I, where I was seeing it was managing Jenkins. And if I pick a long page, like features controlled with system properties, I expected this to stick, but it doesn't stick now. And I'm not sure why. In his PR, he did mention a page where it was visible. So, with ah, okay. Well, let's so let's see. Maybe that'll be be the hint for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. See, the example here was 
configuration. Oh no, that's that's a different example. That's his example of somebody else using the same technique. Just mm -hmm. a moment. Here we go. Okay. Yep. This one, so was on securing Jenkins. So if I navigate okay. to securing Jenkins, let's see. I when I scroll up and down, it does mm. not stick. And I'm not sure if that's intentional or more accidental. And so I, I think it needs more discussion or something's wrong and I'm not. not refreshing cache well enough. I don't know. Hmm. So PR got merged uh, yes. for a specific feature and it's not visible on the website. That's what I'm seeing anyway. It does, it does hmm. well. And, and I haven't looked inside the JavaScript code from the website to see if it is, if the changes are actually there and they're just, they've somehow been changed in a way that they are no longer having the effect. So if I look at what files are changed, we should be able to look, to what should we be able to see? The Jenkins.css file should, should be findable somehow to confirm that these changes were made. The comment says making the sidebar scroll independently. Mm -hmm. So it is intended to work that way. I think so. Okay. Right. I think you're right. Mm. Okay. So I think we might need to tell Vihan about this. Yeah. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll just um, make a comment here and mention Fixed table of con the unmoving table of contents it behaving as you is let's get the example page is this page behaving as you expect. There. You removed is this as well. Oh, oops. <laughs> Thank you. Let's make sure that I write English text. There we go. Okay. So that, that's it that I've got on Google Summer of Code Pipeline Steps Doc Generator. Any other concerns or questions? Mm, no, nothing more. That's all. Okay. All right, then we had another topic was our longstanding pull requests, the adopt a plugin pull request and make security um, rework, document security docs rework. And I apologize, neither of those have had progress. Meg, I'm really sorry. And, and Meg, you, you may need to unmute yourself. Next topic was on Java 11, and that's next Tuesday when we've got it. Oh, go ahead, Meg. Huh? I yeah, no, that's, um, so is there anything there or? No, I've made no progress. Right. I'm really sorry, but nothing to report. Well, I don't think with the security release this week, I mean, the blocker's Daniel, so. Yeah. All right. All right. Java okay. 11, we've got a blog post coming and next Tuesday, a release that will be the first Jenkins version that mandates you must run at least Java 11. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've announced full support for Java 17. So if you're running either Java, if you're running Java 8, you need to switch. And if you're not running Java 17 yet, it's worth experimenting. And that's, that's, those are all the topics I had. Any other topics? Oh, um, nothing from my side as well. Yeah.
Okay, we've done a, a past exercise trying to look for outdated PRs that we could close. Recently, my focus has been trying to get PRs merged that are in the queue. We've got several screenshot updates that need review and it's just a matter of reviewing and getting them in. So we're up to 30 open pull requests again. My goal is to get it back down to 25. But they're young live ones, so that's nice. They are, exactly. These are new ones and we'll try to get them resolved and merged in. All right, anything else for today? No. So when will we be going through those old PRs? Um, we could we could do it tonight if you'd like, or we could do it today. I have to remember it's not night everywhere. We could do it today and look at those old PRs. We could do it whenever. I'm going to be leaving you soon. Okay. So whatever works for you, Mark. Yeah, I think for me, Diraj, it may be best if I if we hold off on today. Let Meg disconnect, and and I'll attempt to make some progress on them later. I've got those three blog posts I've got to do. I've got other things that have got to take higher priority. Hmm, makes sense. No problem at all. All right. All right. So that's all. Actually, let's. I take it back. Let's take this one because we've got some requests for. Yeah, this one just needed. Okay, Oleg said he thought this was ready for review. So this one needs more discussion because yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of conversation in a bug report about this thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call us done for today. Thanks everybody. Have a good Thanks week a lot, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Bye.